So let's go ahead and tackle the last two chords. We've got the uh, A chord and the E chord. And the A chord, you can play it two different ways. Actually, more than two different ways, but I'm going to suggest two ways right up front. The uh, simplest way and then what I call the easiest way, and I know they sound like they're the same thing. The simplest way, though, refers to the fact that you use fingers one, two, and three. The easiest way, uh, you use fingers two, three, and four, and it's the simple way is easy to comprehend, and the easy way is easy to get your fingers to fit into these frets. So um, let's try this. My students actually, you know, laugh at that because they say neither way is simple nor easy. But this, this will work. You just have to give it a chance. So basically, we're going to hold strings 4, 3, and 2 all on the 2nd fret. And you're going to choose either fingers 1, 2, 3 or fingers 2, 3, 4. So it will look like this. 2nd fret 4th string with finger 1. And then you put this 2nd finger right underneath it on the same fret on string 3. And then this finger goes right underneath it on string 2, same fret, fret 2. So you should hear this, strings 4, 3, and 2 should sound like this. And this is the just most straightforward way because it's fingers 1, 2, 3, and you just got to squeeze them in and twist them a little bit to get them on that uh, second fret in a line. So again, easiest to think about. For me, it's kind of tough to fit those three fingers in there. They're kind of, you know, they're big fingers and they're all trying to fit on the same fret. So I use fingers 2, 3, and 4. Nothing changes fret-wise. It's still the same strings and strings 4, 3, and 2, all fret 2. So that's 2, 2, 2. But I use fingers 2, 3, and 4, and it just seems to fit better. So that's, that's my uh, version of how I hold the A chord. You can do either way, 1, 2, 3, or 2, 3, 4. And then you add the open 5th and the open 1st string. So the root is open 5th string, which is the A string followed by 2, 2, 2, those are your fret numbers on strings 4, 3, and 2, and then an open E string. So here's the method using fingers 1, 2, 3, and here's the method using uh, fingers 2, 3, 4. They're exactly the same, so you just have to decide. 1, 2, 3, again, easy to think about because these fingers are really, really easy to, to get to work right up front. And if, you know, if you just happen to have large hands, big fingers, or if one, two, three don't seem to fit for whatever reason, maybe you can try two, three, and four and make that work. So do the same thing you've done with the other chords. Play the bass note and then run through each note individually. Make sure it, everything rings. So I'll give you an example. This is a bad sign. That's a muted string again. That's my fourth finger leaning on string one. So if I tilt it back up, I get that string open. That's what you want, five clear notes, because this is a five-string chord.